Hi, this is Paula from CHE. These are all news for Sherry Camp and surrounding areas from March 14th to the 21st, 2021. On today's segment, the opening of the New Brunswick border. Also, COVID vaccine groups are expanded for those who are 80 and older, and people between the ages of 60 and 64 can get the AstraZeneca vaccine in selected pharmacies. We'll have more than that in a few moments. But first, for April visit residents get vaccinated. This past Wednesday, March 17th, on St. Patrick's Day, 63 out of the 65 Foyer Profiset residents received their first shot of Moderna vaccine. Two residents refused to get it. In this photo, Margaret Bourgeois, the most senior resident at 97 years old, is getting her shot. Foyer Administrator Mona Poirier watches on the back. Here's a close-up of Margaret Bourgeois. Here, Brian Burns, the youngest resident, getting his vaccine. This is the immunization team, clinical care coordinator Tiffany Couture, RN and staff immunizer Brenda Poirier, director of resident care Kathy Spence, and IPAC designate and immunizer Rosemary Camus. After residents got their shot, they celebrated St. Patrick's Day. All five Profiset staff already received their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine in Antigonish. They're all booked to get their second dose next week. Caregivers. Two people who are family or friends of each resident, appointed by the resident or the next of kin, are booked to get immunized on March 24th. The provincial government expanded vaccination groups to include those who are 80 and older and were born between September 1st and December 31st. They can start booking their appointments as of 7 a.m. on Monday, March 22nd. People between the ages of 60 and 64 can also book their appointment for the AstraZeneca vaccine at one of the 25 selected pharmacies. The one in Sherika was not selected. We asked the Department of Health and Wellness why and received the following statement. We asked our partners, Pharmacy Association of Nova Scotia and Doctors Nova Scotia, to identify locations in the province that were immediately prepared to administer the AstraZeneca vaccine with good geographic distribution. Partners had very little time to do this as we needed to use the current vaccine shipment before its expiry on April 2nd. At this time, we still only have limited quantity of the vaccine in the province. As more vaccine becomes available, we will continue to broaden the reach into the community through willing physicians or pharmacists that are able to manage the cold storage requirements of this product. We know that in some areas, people may have to travel longer than one hour now. But a reminder that this is the first group of providers and we have a limited vaccine supply. As vaccine supply increases, we will continue working to identify more sites so Nova Scotians can get vaccinated closer to home. Sherry Camp residents can still get their vaccine at pharmacies in other areas. There are a few in Antigonish, Badek, and Inverness. People would book their two appointments at the same time, 105 days apart, so you would get your two shots at the same pharmacy. On Friday, Premier Ranking announced the opening of the New Brunswick border. We continue to have low case numbers in our province, and we know that restrictions have been difficult for people and businesses in our Amherst border communities. Therefore, given the low case numbers effective at 8 a.m. Saturday, New Brunswick residents coming to Nova Scotia will not have to self-isolate. And Nova Scotians who travel to New Brunswick when they return home will not, no longer have to self-isolate. Dr. Strang made this recommendation based on the very similar epidemiology in both provinces. As of March 20, New Brunswick residents don't have to self-isolate when they come to Nova Scotia and they won't have to complete the self-taken form. Those were our news for the week. You can write to us at tatne.television at gmail.com. We'll leave you with a view of Shady Camp Island on Sunday. Thanks for watching.